Hi Aquarius, thanks so much for joining me here for your reading. So this is going to be a quick message from your spirit guides. So uh, let's go ahead and see what it is that my Aquariuses need to know during this time. We're going to open up with the wisdom of the Oracle deck and uh, see what it is that you guys need to know during this time. Let's take a look at my Aquariuses. Right, Aquarius, we have come to the edge. So this is about you guys being on the precipice of some type of new opportunity, okay? A lot of you are going to reach more of a peaceful and tranquil time of your life, okay? With peace at the base. Right, maybe this is spirit leading you towards a place where you can be more at peace, right? And uh, not have any kind of external factors or situations compromise your being that way. Right, so 36. The essential meaning is courage, taking a leap of faith, overcoming fear and accepting risk. The oracle message is facing the unknown is the only choice you really have right now if you want to progress. It's okay to be afraid. Now is the time to take risks uh, that may not be calculated. To feel the exhilaration as you ready yourself for a leap of faith. Spirit is present to so let go of fear. You are called to express your true self. Listen to their heart and soul, not your head come to the yeah there's something about like quiet your mind right open your eyes and listen to your heart okay so quiet your mind listen to your heart come to the edge and discover that you can fly you must step into the unfamiliar so that you may find your miracles which really reminds me again you cannot be a river into submission right so this next leg of your journey requires you to follow your intuition your intellect has got you so far but it will take you no further um so really it is about you guys surrendering to the ebbs and flows and where it is that you're being guided and a lot of you know the essence of where you're being guided you may just not know the form that takes place in and there's also a need because I'm seeing um baby Moses when he was uh floating right in the uh Yiva right uh Tiva Tiva right uh which is like the it's the way of water it's um being carried by water and it represents new beginnings so it's almost like you have to know that you're being protected right despite there being maybe like crocodiles or whatever else that could be lurking there in the river it's just knowing that you guys are going to be guided towards your destination that's already set in stone for you right um so the relationship message is that it's scary to be truly intimate with someone to allow him or her to see all of you especially the parts that you've kept hidden and protected now is the time to take that risk and let yourself be seen truly seen it's important that you speak up voice what you need and state who you are say what it is that you hope for this is not the time to play it safe but you take a leap of faith uh you will be glad that you did if you're see seeking a relationship the same applies take one step forward to the gods and they will deliver what you truly desire that's interesting um and again a lot of you um i'm getting a a um notification for capricorn so there could be something around like positive karma that's coming towards you in a lot of these relationships whether that be friends or romantic whatever that could be uh, because a lot of karmic debt has been play paid out okay and now it's like there's no more really like debt owed it's no more than a gift as you move forward and the prosperity message is again about you guys taking a big leap of faith into the unknown and the protection for this is about you guys uh you know leaving fear behind and this next leg of your journey and knowing that you don't need it as a companion um anymore okay it's time for courage and know that you will not be lost at sea and you will not watch everyone else get what you want while you are left alone and unloved oh the drama of it all so it's knowing that again um not necessarily like comparison being the thief of joy but there's something about like you shouldn't really compare yourself to anyone something around like how can people because i feel like people are almost like competing with you even though they do not compare and there's something about maybe you guys again like maybe even competing with yourself during this time right maybe you're comparing like how your life once was versus how vastly different it is now maybe this is in terms of your connections right let's go ahead and uh take a look at a shaman's dream oracle message and we'll jump in with the tarot and see what's going on But three and six is about major growth that leads to a new chapter in your life. Six, seven, eight. Um, again, this will definitely happen externally. And then remember that it is... Um 
the year of the dragon again so there's a lot of karmic cycles that have been playing out here cosmic moon the divine feminine so this is again about that new chapter right it's about new things being birthed into creation with double sixes and this is our double soul contract energy because six is you know six of cups there um let's go ahead and read this one and this is about um a period of transformation after a period of resistance and adversity that you guys have gone up against right with that five it's been sudden pivots of change so the cosmic womb is a reminder that you're undergoing a beautiful process of birthing a new self into being you don't know who or what it is yet but you know it's full of life and love and passion and spirit it's a perfect expression of you imbued with love incarnate and ignited by the vital spark received from the divine if you've had a difficult time in recent memory feeling dry and stagnant or lost and unsupported this is changing right now you will feel newly inspired as so many ideas beacon for your attention know that you're safe to explore the expression of your rejuvenated creativity releasing all judgment as your curiosity is peaked you're the most fertile cycle in your life right now intuitively keen with a wide heart open mindful that each step in the direction uh, of your dreams and desires is effortlessly supported by all the divine helpers in the unseen realms and that's interesting because i was hearing eyes wide shut right i think that's a song um your eyes wide shut and you're realizing that again like you have two eyes to look and you have one to see so it's like your eyes right your human eyes are, are like like you know shut but with that wide it's like the one to see maybe foresee something that's coming in for you guys uh is wide open and with Watchers Transpersonal, the base is about you guys becoming a sacred witness to the events that are unfolding. I'm hearing serendipitous, serendipitous. Uh, so yeah, it's definitely some kind of, let's put out my Divine Tarot Legacy deck for this one. I feel like, again, she's she's gone through it. She's, um, she's bringing through the thick of it all. So I love you again, like you've been maybe connecting with your higher self and your guides through thick and thin and, uh, Again, they've really just been pulling you through, you know? All right. I'm hearing like you've been able to pick yourself up when you've been down. All right, let's go ahead and see what this is. Let's take a look at come to the edge. What is Aquarius needing to take that leap of faith on during this time? Hmm. Okay, what it is that you guys need to take a leap of faith on is the Eight of Cups. So this is actually leaving behind certain partnerships, right? Certain connections where somebody's words have not aligned with their actions, right? Maybe it's something that you wanted once upon a time, but you no longer do. It now brings you the sense of disappointment, okay? And it's almost like you are or have been already going like emotionally and... Uh, I, I want to say like spiritually like MIA you know this is somebody almost like dissociating from it and the physically leaving it behind is the last thing to take place and this person doesn't know that by releasing these particular connections they are actually making room to receive new ones again even if they don't know the form uh, that may take place in because with the nine of cups again it's like receiving the fruits of their labor but they're receiving it in the metaphysical realm first okay um and before they can actually see that anchor down into a third dimensional experience and again with eight of uh, coins there could be something around like the fear of like overthinking walking away from a situation right again it's almost like some of you need to quite literally leave behind your analytical mind that's going to be really important during this time you need to leave behind your analytical mind let's clarify this i want to clarify this oh what's this um Eight of Cups, but Aquarius this is leaving behind. Some of you, it's your old life I'm hearing. It could be your old life. Maybe even like an old version of yourself. Again, I feel like a lot of you are shedding this identity. And you know what's really interesting about this deck, actually? This shadow in the water, it looks like the bottom half of this uh, man here is an octopus. And um, if you guys remember the reading that I did earlier this week, if you haven't watched it, I'll link it down below, uh, about your spiritual ranking increasing there's something about like that octopus that's coming through again again like people that are very manipulative people that are uh, maybe don't have the best intentions for you right it's like that sense of um you know other 
things that you could be dealing with, other beings that you could be dealing with. We have temperance here um, in reverse. It's almost like some of you, again, this has caused a lot of imbalance, especially when it comes to your emotional foundation that has really been compromised. And with temperance, it's knowing that you cannot be like blindly optimistic that this situation will turn around. Again, with Saturn, like, you know, retrograding and uh, <sighs> Neptune, um, the illusions are dissolving away you know the old paradigm is dissolving away and it's allowing you to kind of rebalance your life now and apply more moderation towards what is to come and that's going to restore some kind of peace but there's something about again like not being uh, over idealistic when it comes to a particular person right accepting a situation for what it is Okay, we also have the nine of cups there. Yeah, and we have the two of wands. So again, it's like your nine of cups is waiting for you. A lot of you, it's um, there's some, something that you're planning and preparing for when it comes to how you want to progress forward. Some of you um, with Mars and Aries, there could be a specific vision that you have right now with the nine of cups because nine of cups is somebody having like this thought, this desire, again, uh, mixed with Mars, right? And um and they're going after it and they're making plans to ensure that they succeed and the emotions that they have so strongly towards what it is that they desire is the very thing reinforcing that thought into a form and then it becomes a thought form and then you know it, it's in its pre-manifested form which is thought and it collapses through space time and then it becomes part of this reality but it's happening in the metaphysical realms especially with the cosmic womb some of you it's a higher level of establishment within your career other life course that you've set for yourself others of you the empress is hiding right behind the emperor okay so this could be even a, like a divine counterpart others of you it's like an alchemical marriage within yourself where you're really out here just doing it you know you guys are you nothing is really getting in your way during this time you know you're rebalancing um your life where the foundation has kind of again been compromised yeah we have the two of cups with cosmic room if it's not a connection externally okay um aquarius this is about a harmonious union with yourself right with your higher self really honoring your belief systems and your values during this time with a star card again this actually could be uh again we have aquarius cancer energy too and a star card is also within your community okay so some of you are expanding your community it's about your wishes being like literally fulfilled here your innermost needs and desires being reciprocated in the external realm whether that be at career or that be in uh romance or you know again friends and the unions that you're able to have let's clarify this two of cups for aquarius we have the ace of uh, coins so this is something very stable we have the tower yeah some of you it's like this relationship that you had with yourself was not really going to be there's something about like you reinforcing through action how much you you care about yourself right you have the opportunity to honor yourself by aligning your actions with your intentions and not having that you know divorce and the tower and the two of uh cups is almost like there's been the sudden point of divergence in your life where something chaotic could be happening right now okay maybe this is you guys getting used to a new normal and there's something about like you having to adapt to the changes very quickly with a hermit and having to trust your intuition to guide you, okay, along this way. I'm hearing like unexpectedly. So something could be coming through unexpectedly or something has happened unexpectedly, perhaps some kind of ending. But an ending had to happen for something new to come through. Because again, this is an energy of releasing to receive, releasing to receive. She, uh, yeah, the judgment as well. Again, I love you. It is something that you had realize that if you had stayed within it would have just compromised almost like the love that you have for yourself you know love is a verb it's not a noun so it does require action and follow through so there's something about like again you having to show that through action right to show yourself to demonstrate to yourself that you love yourself to embody um you know again like and encapsulate um the energetic signature of somebody that you know, shows them that they love themselves and shows them that they will, again, they're out here like really doing it with the judgment. They're no longer repressing and suppressing and ending that they know has to happen in their life. Six of Swords, again, this is a sacrificial energy um, that was not really going to be able to 
you know, last very long without disrupting your state of being. So again, a lot of you are just choosing happiness and you're realizing that happiness is a way of traveling through life and it's how you choose to deal with your circumstances, right? It's not necessarily a location. So there's something about like leaving something behind, bringing you peace of mind and that is making you happy again. Maybe, again, there's some, something that was going on. Let's go ahead and uh, see that cut reflex. Okay, let's go ahead and get a love oracle message. See if we can get any specific. We have engagement rings. So some of you, there's a new partnership coming in. Some of you could be exiting from some kind of soul contract and entering into a new one, okay? Um, but yeah, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. So this could be a high level of commitment coming in. Some of you, it could be a contract with work. Um, others, you know, maybe you're leaving behind an old job and a new one. Others of you, again, this is could be like a metaphysical contract of some kind. But with girl, with a snake, there could be something about like an empath and narcissist paradigm right where you guys are being charmed or used and you had to put up some kind of boundary we have the sword and the rose so a lot of you found out the truth about this uh clarity truth revelation solidarity force honor protection and power so again you guys are standing your power after seeing the truth it looks like somebody who has a uh, you know, <laughs> nothing more but the memories of what they once had with camera. Uh, this is about like, again, you also learning from your past. So there could be something about you guys learning from your past experiences, uh, especially as you are like uh, integrating the wisdom, right? It's the wisdom awaiting integration. And there's something about you integrating this through time out, right? Taking that time out that you need to progress forward. It looks like the universe is taking you on an internal journey before, uh, again, like, there's a new external reality that you're going to be fully immersed within. Let's close out with uh, this 54 Everyday Spirit Guide deck. And see what Aquarius needs more of during this time. What's a message from my Aquarius, please? Okay. There's something about like, yeah, recharging. Yeah, we have move on. Stop wasting your energy. It's time to let go. You deserve better. So some of you need to know that, okay? Especially if you feel like you you weren't getting or you weren't receiving what it is that you wanted. Because again, with Eight of Cups, this is almost like, um it's a promise that the devil can give you, right? It's in a promise of an, an illusion. And uh, once you realize that somebody's words never really align with their actions, their words begin to lose value. So, you know, again, this is a message for some of you. And uh, at the base, we have low battery batteries fuel needed fill up your own cup relax dear okay so this is about filling your own cup before the cups of others otherwise it only leads to resentment it's having to do what's for your highest good right um so yeah move on aquarius i love this deck by the way um <laughs> it's by let go flow so if you guys want a little discount uh, i've got a little hook up there in the description box down below i'm gonna go ahead and pull some of these actually before we head out oh shit what was that i think that was courage a new phase of beginning in your life I'll grab it in a second or I'll grab it at the end. Right, yeah, we have a... That's so interesting. That's the card that I saw. That's the one that I thought fell. And this is the one that came out. So a journey, either physical or mental with courage. That's so interesting. I saw it, but maybe it wasn't... I didn't... Maybe there's something about, like you're seeing, right? And it's not what you're looking at. It's not what you think that you're looking at. It's something about you seeing it, okay? And this is after like you dealing with a, maybe a two-faced person. I always say cats as well, as much as I love them. Like some of them, you know, they're very independent creatures, right? Which, I've, which I, you know, can respect. Um, but they kind of come and go as they please, right? They could have their own self-serving motives. And yeah, they like admiration and attention. But sometimes that's on their own terms. So there could be something about, again, like, you know, something there. Maybe someone just coming and going from your life as they please whenever it's convenient for them. And we have bat. So take care. Enemies are working against you and again that's carry a lot of uh, diseases there we have march energy so this is about spring has sprung it kind of reminds you of the persephone energy right with hades let's put a couple more and then we'll go look i always say i'm gonna do a quick one and then i don't even know <laughs> hopefully you guys don't mind i will try and do some quicker ones uh i just i just enjoy spending time with you what can i say uh four leaf clover okay great good a fortune so this is some kind of good luck coming in especially after you've had a disappointment in some kind of affair and you've probably cut your cords um with this connection a lot of you okay we also have a sincere wish will be granted and we have eggs so success assured with good plans and hard work needle on the thread there's something about being very intentional right when it comes to the wishes and desires that you guys have right now 
Um, there's something about like be clear about your heart's desire so the universe can bring it forward for you. And then we also have temptation will test you. So just be aware that temptation may test you as well, Aquarius. But I wish you guys the very best of luck. Um, if you're not ready to subscribe to this channel and want to stick on future reads, you consider subscribing. Take a look at all weekly readings on my second channel. Personal reads are also down below. Um, but I wish you the very best of luck. I'm just going to go ahead and pick up this card and I'll show you guys before we head out. enjoyment 